Welcome back to Samster Games, the place to find new strategy games and today we're gonna play Spellcaster University, a game where you build your very own magic school. Now, if you've been on this channel for a little while, you're gonna know that I absolutely love this game. This is one of my favorite games around the level of Cliff and Pie or Mutant Deer Zero. It's just amazing. And I've play, been playing this game for about two years now, like ever since it came out, and now it has come out into full release. There's some pretty epic things, like for example, you can send your students onto an expedition and kind of go through dungeons, get loot and things like that, which I'm super, super stoked about. So let's start a brand new campaign and let's play together. I'm gonna be playing on the sorcerer level, which is kind of like the normal difficulty. We're gonna play on the shortest version so that we can go a little bit faster. We're gonna be playing a specific challenge just because I think it's fun. So we've got a couple of options. You can do chaos. Magical operations are twice as common and take twice as long to disappear. Darkness. You choose between two cards instead of three when drawing from your deck. Oh, this is pretty tough. Transmutation. Two potions of each type are added to each deck when shuffled. Potions are 25% more effective. Rage. Relationship with normal faction deteriorate faster or speed. The forces of evil advance even faster. I think we're gonna go with chaos. Magical aberrations are twice as common and take twice as long. This is gonna be pretty fun. And now let's go. So we can pick the name of our school. This is going to be Michael's Magic. And we're gonna pick, I'm we gonna go with something random. Oh, this is, I, I kind of like this bird. Let's do it. We're gonna have a yellow bird. And we're gonna have like maybe, oh, this could be good, black and orange. This looks kind of scary. <laughs> Let's do it with this like red and black. Now we can pick where you start. The beginning points usually have a different bonuses. For example, in the village, new students are on average richer and the famous local minister might cause trouble. We can go to the forest where new students are poorer and this means that they will not be able to pay as much to you. More students are werewolves. I don't think we had werewolves when we played this last time, so we're gonna go into the forest. The ancient troll might cause trouble, and we have a large buildable area. I like that, so let's go into the forest. Now, if you're wondering about the name why it's called Michals, it's after one of my patrons. I'm gonna be naming the areas, uh, the like types of schools by the patrons. Now, how does this game work? So there are different types of schools of magic in this school. You've got a uh, nature, you've got light, you've got uh, dark or shadow deck, you've got arcane deck and you've got alchemy. And you're, if you have in the students in that area, if they're learning things in this area, you're going to get points for that particular type of magic, for example, for nature. And then if you have enough, you can click on it and you can gain a new card, as you can he see over here, and you can use this to build things. Up here, there's a meter for evil. Once it comes to the end, you're gonna have to flee and build a new schools, but you get the sort of persistent bonuses between the schools, depending on how your student does. So essentially, your students are studying in your school, and as they finish studies, they will gain, they will become someone, for example, an adventurer or a teacher or a mage or just a basic commoner. And based on that, you get bonuses for in its next school and this will help you make your progress through the campaign to make schools better and better. Now let me read you about the game. The kingdom's great forests are known for their giant millennial trees. We'll be at home here. Legends say that elves used to live in these woods but everyone knows that elves don't exist. The local population lives more simply than in the rest of the kingdom so do not expect any rich students. So with the money of the students is important because you can, uh, here you have money which give you kind of like neutral cards and you can, uh, you have like policies for a school so you can make them pay and things like that but if you know that there are many rich students if you make them pay not many are going to come. All right, so now we can pick an option. This is going to give us some choices. So we could, for example, get a stable, which might be helpful for, to, if you want to focus on magical creatures deck. So what you can do is you can either go kind of like in all direction, or you can try to focus for specific types of magic, which can be helpful because you can get bonuses in future schools for that type of magic. You can also get gold because we know the students are poor. This might be probably the best decision, or this is kind of like, get like council and trophies. Trophies help like give bonuses to different rooms. I think we're just gonna take the gold. Now this is the the starting point and we're gonna build a house. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna build a new house and this is going to be like a type of um, Like, like a house in the school and then when you get new students you're gonna assign them to a specific ho uh, house. So this is going to be Donald's Animals and these students will focus on nature 
and shadow because animals is a double meaning now you do want to pick what kind of bonus they get for example if i make them passionate that means that they learn the last level of magic faster so there are multiple levels of magic and they're learning them over time and depending on how well they do like i said that's kind of like how well they'll do after school so i want to make sure that you can teach them as well as you can now we're definitely going to pick child of nature because that means they're going to be learning nature faster um, now we could do the passionate comical their presence reduces boredom for all other students That's actually pretty cool because if they're bored, they're learning slower or gourmet, which means they don't need to eat as much hmm. I think we're gonna go with passionate and we're gonna pick we're gonna make them green and we know that they're focusing now You could forbid them from t learning other types of magic or you can just say uh, that it's allowed but there's other priority. The problem is if you forbid them and you don't have, for example, rooms for nature, they have nothing else to do. But what you could do is you could say, I forbid, for example, light and arcana, but I, you can do alchemy if you don't have anything else to do. That can be. So now I'm going to make this thing a little bit more green. And the reason for that, I want it to kind of match with this little symbol that we've got here. Yeah, I think this is fine. So maybe, maybe white. Yeah, let's do it like that. So it's going to be Donald's animals. Done. And then we need a second house for the rest of the things. Actually, I like this. So the, the, the last two people are going to be learning light magic, arcana magic, and alchemy. I'm going to forbid them from learning shadow, but I'm going to say you can learn nature if you want to, if you don't have any of your other classes. We're going to make them arcane scholar and... Or alchemy apprentice would work as well. Um, I'll make them learn arcane faster. Light sleeper means they won't get tired. Now shadow disciple is not good because I'm not really allowing them to, to learn shadow. So I think they're going to do... Well, the hate could be also good, but I think the light sleeper might be the most important. Now this is important because your students have needs like hunger and... Uh, tiredness and etc and you can fulfill them in school but if you can't fulfill them in school they'll go home to fulfill that that means they're not going to be in school very often so first of all you want to make sure that you fulfill as many needs at school as possible but um you also want to make sure that they have, they have as little needs as possible i think we can make them uh, we want to pick something that's very contrasty with the green so that we can easily tell who belongs where i think we're going to make them purple and we're also going to try to make these colors a bit more like purple-ish again just so it kind of matches this this thing okay let's hit yes now we could get new students but i'm not going to do this the first thing i'm going to place is dormitory for beds students hall this allows five students to reduce boredom we're going to put that over here and refectory so that they can eat we'll put it above the bedroom now at this point i'm going to recruit new students now I have here Bruce Zeist. I can see the hunger, tiredness, and boredom that he has. Here I can see like his, I guess, type. He's cha chaotic, which means he his needs grow slower in a class given by a chaotic teacher. And he is good, which means he learns faster in, in classes given by a good teacher. We don't really know what kind of teachers we have yet. He's a little slow, so he's learning slower. And he, he has average money. He's well behaved, however, and he's passionate. Now, these attributes combine with the attributes that we give them from these things. So for example, if I give him Donald's animals, he's going to gain the another passionate attribute. I, I think it actually stacks and child of nature. He's chatty and he's afraid of he won't go to the bi hi, bi library. So sorry, <laughs> I apparently can't talk anymore. I think I'm going to make him become the arcane scholar doesn't seem to be specific in, a, in, a, in an area but because I know that the Donald's animals are going to be working on shadow I might want to give them like a teacher that's uh, for like dark magic and instead uh, we're more likely to give a good teacher to the to the arcane scholars oh I didn't rename this I didn't rename this I'm gonna have to rename that later if I can so this person is God so he learns light magic slower so he has to go to Donald's animals this person is a shadow disciple, so also go to Donald's animal. This person has nothing really interesting. Oh, aggressive. Their insults make <laughs> uh, make the other students <laughs> lose more sanity, which is not great. Here you can see health and sanity that they have. So we're gonna maybe we're gonna make him the arcane scholar. And this person learns shadow and arcane slower, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna put him into the Donald's animals, I think. Uh, but deals more damage in combat, that's pretty cool. Now, let me just see if I could rename the this Arcane Scholar thing. Yeah, I'm going to call this uh, Juju Makers. 
because they make potions. And this game does actually have a really cool potions. So you can make potions that give you different bonuses and things like that, which is quite cool. Now at this point we need some new cards. Ideally would like a school. So I'm going to start with an arcane room. Here the students can learn arcane magic. And the arcane magic is split into different types. So we've, each school is split into three different types. We've got elementalism, temporal magic, and portal magic. This is where you come to listen to extraordinarily long theoretical speeches on temporal relativity, parallel universes, and other dimensions. I'm going to place the arcane room here. Ideally, you would like to make sure that uh, the classes for a specific for the for the houses that you have are near each other. So, for example, if you know that you're going to have like the you've got the Donald um, animals, so they learn nature and shadow. So, make sure that nature classrooms and uh, shadow classrooms are near each other because when the students are going to be leaving it's going to take them a while to move around the room so we want to make sure that you move well now this is arcane so this is with the good guys so we definitely want a good teacher however they're unionized which means we have to pay them more but i'm still gonna go with this yeah let's let's pick this one and you can see that our students are kind of moving in and you can zoom in real close and you can see where they're moving and what are they doing and you can read about them. It's actually really fun. Now we need more rooms. What is this? This card, okay, so we already played Refactory 1 so we can see what we played. Now we could get a canopy bed. Characters who sleep in this bed lose tiredness faster and give some gold to the school. Canopy beds are much more comfortable and give you some privacy. That's cool. Plus you can charge people to use them, which is even cooler. Or we could get private apartments. This is important for our teachers so that teachers can uh, get um, they can sleep at school so they can work more. So we're actually going to get the private apartments. We're going to place it up here above the student room. That's pretty important. And we need to get more rooms. I need to give a school room for my nature people. Okay, so I could get nature room or shadow room. I'm going to go with nature room, I think. And and this is like for general nature class. So we're going to place it up here, and we're going to give them an evil teacher. This one because it's not, he's not, she's not unionized. Under the king's protection, when teaching this teacher may increase your reputation with the king. So this is something we haven't talked about yet. There are actually factions in the game. I can show you if you go into the map. Different factions and you can go and visit them. And if you visit them, you're going to have events that you can do. And depending on your relationship, the, the, the relationship essentially affects the events with, with them and they can give you money or different bonuses. So for example, now that we, took the teacher who the king likes, is it, we have a chance of increasing these relationships. Uh, I think we're gonna start, for example, we're gonna visit, I think the, the king I think gives you money at the start. So we can actually visit, oh we can't really just it, sorry. Uh, you have to have the timer that allows you to go there, sorry about that. Yeah, it's gonna show up here soon. Now we can get a light room. Or we could get weapons and shields. So this is something that you put in a specific room. The room has to have this type, like a picture allowed. And active rooms in this room have their combat power greatly increased for a few minutes. Now this is good, for example, in like fighting rooms, for example, in like like for shadow magic and etc. Collection of crystal snow globes. In this classroom, the teacher does not gain boredom, but does gain tiredness and hunger. Or light room. We're just going to grab light room. No, this is not Sunday school. So light room should go above the arcane room. And we're going to pick a teacher that's... I don't think there's much difference here. Ex-Inquisitor. Yeah, let's pick that so that we could get a good relationship with the Inquisitors. Now here we've got some events, so let's go. We could, first of all, we can get more students. This person is a bully and down to earth, so he learns some magic arcane slower, so it's going to go to Donald's animals. Shifty, coward, and popular, doesn't matter, so we'll give him to the Juju Makers. Child of Nature, very easy. Orphan, Courageous, and Bibliophia. Ah, I guess we'll put him to the Juju. I'm, I'm trying to make uh, to get equal amount of students. Chosen by the light, obviously. Okay. And now here we were going to get an event. The king sends his regards. Ah, new school for my kingdom. How great. So very great. And I would very much like to help from fair and generous king. What would you need? So we could try to get some funding, money, or we could pick one card out of three. Let's just pick one card out of three. Assassin's Arena. So this is for the shadow magic, but it allows to you to teach the student a specific type of shadow magic, just assassinations. Now this can be important because if you have a student that's just good in like a very specific thing like assassination, they might become an assassin, which can give you a bonus for the future schools. It's not really magic, sure, but mages with the secondary class are very popular. <laughs> Chamber of Truth. This is the same for light magic. This is retribution. Here's where we train light magic. 
Mages who have psychopathic tendencies, otherwise known as inquisitors. Or we could get a janitor art supplies, a janitor who cleans walls, vandalize with certain and improves the room's efficiency. I think I'm gonna go with Chamber of Thrills to increase my light magic. Now, one thing to keep in mind if you place it like this is that you might not be able, we're gonna pick a good teacher, place another sort of like two wide room above because you need to have like a filled up space so this might kind of mess up with our idea of having cl uh, classrooms in the same space now hey there we're from around here we don't like traveling we're not fond of strangers what exactly are you doing here now we could say we teach exclusively sacred magic in accordance with the rules of the church of light which will give us light mana so we're going to be able to build more light rooms or light items but it will lower our reputation with the Inquisition and increase uh, relationship with the peasants. We could say no, we want to focus on nature. This is really cool because this does not have any negative reputation on anybody. Or we could say we're focusing on shadow mana which will make good relationship with Lord of Evil. Good relationship with Lord of Evil is actually not half bad because you can beg him to sort of delay him. Because remember you have a time limit for long, how long you can play with your school and you want to increase the time so that your students can learn more and you get better bonus for the future school. So having a good relationship there is good. But then again, if you're going to focus on this, you might want to go more like all in on the shadow mana because you don't you don't actually have to focus on all types of magics the way I'm doing in this playthrough. You can just focus on, for example, only shadow and arcane and just not build other rooms. It's definitely a possibility in this game. I think we're going to go here for natural mana, try to be kind of friendly with everybody. This means I can now pick just the nature cards. I could get a terrarium. Active student in this room slightly improved their herbalism skills. This would be good to place it in my, in my nature room. Um, nature room, which I do believe I have. I think this is a nature room. Another thing I can get is this. This is sort of like a, a passive ability. When a student is at least level one in druidism and herbalism, they get fall season shoulder pads, which means that their health gains are now doubled. Or I could get an orc hound. Decreases the desire of active students in the same room to misbehave and bites them occasionally to speed up the learning process. I'm gonna pick this because they, they look beautiful. They look so uncanny like orcs it doesn't bear thinking about. Because they're, they're gonna have a creature that's just going to move around. So you can see, so this is kind of where it sleeps and then it's going to kind of move around the house the school and just kind of bites the students and talk about them which i think is really fun now do we actually have a nature room this is light room this is arcane this is dormitory refractory chamber of two. Oh no i built this in the wrong way no i think i built this right we're gonna check it again i have found a window between two trauma sackers to come say hi the opening of a new magic school is always good news for the adventure skill what kind of mage do you train mages who can mend folks a mage who can blow up things and mages who use mystical things. So this is going to give you a card in that area. Let's go for alchemy this time. We could get a, a necro staff. When a student is at least level two in necromancy, they receive a necro staff. They now produce thirty percent more shadow mana. This is amazing. If a student is at least three in elementalism and level two in enchantment, this is fine because we're teaching arcane and alchemy together. So this actually would work for us. Or if someone is just generally good at alchemy, they're going to gain more alchemy. But I think we're going to go for the necromancy. So we might find students going around and carrying the staff. Okay, this is the nature room. This is the private apartments. Okay, so I think I built the chamber of two kind of in the middle of nowhere. But I think that's okay. You can zoom in quite a lot, by the way. Now let's uh, handle more events. The giant forest troll has been asleep for millennia, but your presence has disturbed the sleep. If your reputation with him falls to minus 100, he will awake and he won't be happy about it. This thing is huge. Okay. Now this means, the, the little symbol of this guinea pig, that we can go communicate. So I'm going to go and talk to the king, because he's probably going to give me some bonus. I am currently extremely busy. What do you need? So we could just increase the reputation with him. We could say, hey, give me money, but it's going to lower the reputation by five. And then, for example, if we had at least one dragon, we could gain prestige points. Or if we had Pegasus, we could gain gold. Or if we had at least 50 reputation with the kingdom, we could try to attack the Lord of Evil and lower his strengths. But I think we're just going to try to get some money. Now, we do want to click on more, get more students. So this person... Uh, I'm just going to put him to Juju Makers. 
Procrastinator. Also Juju Makers. And this person's Shifty. Oh, I guess we'll make him join the other. Oh, we don't have enough for this. This is a bit sad. If we didn't click on this, it might have been good for us. So we have a bird problem. Our cows no longer give bird, which is going to be a huge problem for all farmers. We need you to make it a fertility version, as I'm told it's called. Now, if we had enough either alchemy, yeah, just alchemy, or we had a stable, we could uh, help them out, but we can't because we don't have any of those. We do have enough points for arcane magic, so we could get a uh, mystical birds. Active characters in this room recover sanity and improve in elementalism, but the room gets dirty faster. Elemental dojo. Let's actually work on our elementalism. Our counselor's office will help. We get an extra choice of future and gathering if they spend time with the council. Actually, let's pick that. This is going to be really important for us when um, our students graduate. So we're going to go... Let's go with this person. And we can get more rooms still. And not a nature room. So if you have multiple rooms of the same type, you can upgrade them. So I'm going to actually grab this. I'm going to show you. I can put this here and upgrade this to level 1 which means that we have a plus 10 efficiency bonus. So students who go here are going to get an extra bonus. I can also select a teacher. I think the teachers go there automatically. If you... Yeah, but I can tell them to like go there immediately. So my students, you can see that they've been kind of lazing around and now they're going here to study. I don't know how for how many we have space, but they're going to come here. Okay, only one so far, but hopefully more should come soon. Yeah, I think this one's coming and they're going there to learn and we can again we can click on them maybe on the one that's already been studying and we can see that he is he's still not at, at full but he's getting all of it so he's going to get a point in beast magic and herbalism very soon okay, we're going to get some more students it seems let's give them to donald oh alchemy apprentice so definitely a juju maker and this person is a variable. Variables are twice as hard, recover health over time, and intimidate other students, which reduces their need to misbehave. They're immune to aberrations. So actually this is good, because we remember we took the trade of giving more students aberrations, but because variables are immune, it's actually not that bad. And I do love the idea. You can actually zoom in, and you can see some of the variables if, if they come. We're going to be able to see them at some point. Did we not get the canopy pet? Oh, no, I think we... Okay, yeah, here. This person is a werewolf, and you can actually see their face, which I think is awesome. You're gonna have to look at them when they turn around. Okay, but first. Hey mages, could you help us? The thief from the Adventures Guild spend their day spreading chaos across the village. A troll murder here, a large party there. Could you help them calm down a bit? We could teach them a lesson which will increase the relationship with the peasant lower with the Adventure Guild. We can say nothing. If we had Elementalist Dojo or 40 Repetition with the Kingdom, we could do other things. I think I'm gonna work with the peasants. Yeah, I think that's okay. Where are my werewolves? Oh, whoa, look at this guy. This teacher looks pretty fun. Where are all my werewolves? Okay, look at that. I want, You can zoom in real close. I really hope he turns around, this werewolf. I'd love to see him. Come on, turn around for me. Oh, or the one in the back is also cool. Yeah, look at this one. Doesn't he look super pretty? Or she? Phaedra Fenris. Why are you learning nature? You shouldn't be doing that. I mess up the school. No, I, th I think we allowed like you- No, no, no. Oh, this is normal on nature. Yeah, okay. I guess if you can learn anything else, you can learn nature. That's fine. More students. Arcan Scholar. Chosen by the Light. Mm, the royal tax department looked over your phone. It seems like you forgot to pay the tax on magic. This tax is easily forgotten, so we won't apply any penalties for now. Do not think us. It is in our nature to help. So we could refuse to pay, but it's going to cost us prestige. Prestige affects like how many new students you get. Extension or just pay? I think we can just pay. I have the money. Let's go talk to somebody. Maybe we could talk to the peasants, see if they're willing to give us something good. What do you want? Quick, you're scaring the cows. We came with the fertility potions for animals. Take it free of charge. This is going to take away some natural mana, but we have plenty and increase our relationship even more. Or we can really explain how to handle the cows. It's going to cost us a lot of natural mana, but we're going to get guardian card. Let's do that. What does the guardian do? Permanently improves the teacher. This teacher can perform critical hits while teaching, giving a larger knowledge bonus. Okay, let's do that. Let's give it to the teacher that's teaching nature. I think that makes sense. 
Now, we could get a bonus for light magic. Chamber of two, we could upgrade it. Let's get a medical bed. Student will sleep in this bed, recover health, and give some money to the school. Let's do it. I'm gonna get a medical bed over here. I really hope that we can get some expedition, but I don't know how long it takes to get to expedition. Village banner. Active characters in this room improve relationship with the peasant. This is great. You can place this, for example, in the bedroom, because if they're there, it essentially counts as active students, so we can get the bonus with the peasants, which could be really, really cool for us. I think we should zoom in a bit more. I do love watching, for example, this. Isn't this beautiful? This little orc hound. Let's get points for arcane magic though. Ooh, gazebo. Gazebo, unfortunately, I don't think you can build anything above that, so I don't know if you want to do that yet. Start recruiting five new students with the deep folk trait. Some call them Athenians or fishermen. That's a deep folk is the official term. We could get a dragon. Dragons are super important because remember, if you talk with the king, we can get a huge bonus for having a dragon. Well, dragons are not really dragons, but they're close enough. In truth, they come from another dimension where they're known as pineapples. It allows uh, students to learn arcane magic faster. I can't place it somewhere? Yeah, here. So we're gonna have the arcane purple dragon kind of flying around and all of our arcane students are going to learn a little bit better. Now we have a light room, arcane room, and chamber of truth. So we're learning retribution a little bit better. What we have here. It is time to create a specific teaching goals. We should put a curriculum together so our students end up with great features. What curriculum would you like to create? Stone cutter. Receive the stone cutter quest. To train a student for this feature, you must focus on the following types of magic runes. Death Master is for Necromancy and Enchantment, and Alchemist is for Potion, Enchantment, and Runes. You aren't really moving much in Alchemy. Unfortunately, all of these are focused on Alchemy, which is not great for us. We could do the Necromancy because we have the staff that requires us to be good with Necromancy anyway. But then again, the problem is, we don't have a student who's learning Alchemy and Necromancy together. So I think we're just going to go with... We'll try to get an alchemist. Potions, enchantment, and runes. I'm gonna try to have, get an alchemy room very quickly. So let's just put some more students kind of wherever. Okay, can I get an alchemy room? Arcane and shadow. I guess we'll get a shadow room. I did place it right, right? Yeah, because this is the nature and the shadow room. Good. We have chosen to tolerate your impious sources university, but this incurs some compensation. We have come to collect the tide which will fund our team of mage hunters. Ironic, isn't it? Not really, get out. Oh, we could train the inquisitors here. We're on the same team. Haha, <laughs> that's actually pretty funny. Uh, well... Oh, we could get a book of purity if we had, we had 100 gold. Let's just kick them out. Let's just get out. Alright, we could get more stuff for nature. I really need to focus on the alchemy. Pick chamber. Up to three students can use the pick chamber to communicate with the outside world and speed up communications with factions. Greenhouse. Classroom that allows students to quickly improve their herbalism skills. A wooden set from the world tree. Active characters in this room generate prestige. That seems really good. Let's, yeah, let's put it in the, the factory. So that we can get some prestige. We can actually take them away. That's actually really cool. I didn't realize that you can move them around. This wasn't uh, available in the previous versions of the game that I played. That's actually really, really nice. I really need to get started on the alchemy. Now here you can see the quests. So for at the moment we don't have anybody in any of these areas. Fortunately. Oh, school specialty. Every respectable school needs a special magic discipline. They specialize in. It's crucial if it's recognized internationally. Now, we, we would need an arcane specialist, light magic specialist, alchemy, or natural magic. I think I'm gonna pick nature here. I could double down all the alchemy, but I think it's because we're doing really well with nature. I think this would actually be a good idea. So this is like a second quest. We need to produce 8,000 natural mana and we already have 600. So I think this was a good, good decision. And ideally would like to get more gold so that we could get a new alchemy deck. Now let's work on light magic first. And a student is at level 3 in herbalism and level 1 in sacred magic not gonna happen. Bright staff refectory allows 7 staff members to lower hunger, tiredness and boredom while healing. 
Our active students in this room slightly improve their sacred magic skills. We might want to pick that. This is the light room. I can't put it in there. Okay, but we could put it... Can we put it in the arcane room? Yes, we could, because we know that our arcane students will also learn light magic anyways. Now, let's go to the map. Yeah, I can't see... I was wondering if I can just click here to go on an expedition, but I think we have to have a specific event for that. Let's go talk to the orcs, for example. We haven't done that yet. Yeah, we could get 100 ma natural mana just for t talking to them. Let's grab that. That's actually really cool. More students. And what is this? We are hungry. What can I do about that? The human will find us something to eat. Otherwise, we'll eat the human and the small humans living in the human's house. Also eat the house that the human and small humans live in. Probably the human pets too. With some herbs and aromatics. You can advise them to go eat the peasants instead. Make you waffles if you had a waffle maker. Uh, make them cheese bouquet if you had a sartre dish. Or we can say we have nothing to offer. We have nothing to offer. If they get too upset, they might actually go and attack us. But at least we'll try to fight, which is going to be good. Now, we could get a stable. We need a stable for something. First of all, we can learn beast magic. But also, stables were good. Let's play stables kind of... Actually, we've got nature's... Actually, we can build above this. I didn't realize it. So let's build it here and get an evil teacher. That's going to be good. Your stable's kind of up in the air, which is kind of funny. Look at the guinea pigs. Aren't they super cool? Can I see more of my werewolves? Where are all my werewolves? Okay, there's one here. Are you gonna eat? Oh, he's always... Look at these! A pumpkin head! <laughs> Look at that! Pumpkin head student! That is epic! Hello! <laughs> Why do you have pumpkin head? Bitten? Learns half as fast but no longer becomes hungry. Has a chance to disappear and can be cured in the infirmary. Triggered by the study of natural magic. <laughs> pumpkin head student! Alright, I think this is a good time to end the first episode. Let me know if you'd like me to do more episodes on this game. Bye bye!